So in this lecture, we'll discuss the second order derivative based filters or operators. That is the filters that make use of the second order derivative to compute the edges and images. And one such operator is a Laplacian operator. So in this lecture, we'll discuss uh, what Laplacian operator is and how we can use the Laplacian operator to compute the edges and images. So the Laplacian of a 2D continuous function f, which is a function of two variables x and y, where both x and y are scalar, is defined as del square f, which is equal to del square f over del x square plus del square f by del y square where f is a function of x and y so the laplacian of a function is a scalar we'll just rewrite it over here is equal to del square f of x comma y over del x square plus del square f of x comma y by del y square. So the Laplacian is just a summation of the uh, second order partial derivative of f with respect to x plus the second order partial derivative of f with respect to y. So as we discussed in the previous lecture that the first order derivative based methods, they compute or they detect the edges according to the maxima or minima. For example, consider uh, an image with some pixel values over here and then different pixel values over here. So let's assume that the green represents lower value and the, and the, and the, uh, this blue represents higher value. So the gradient of this image is going to look like the one the, 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 the x derivative along any row we can consider it would look like for example uh, it would be zero then it would we can we can just draw it over here so it would be zero over here and then suddenly increase and it will attain maxima over here and then it will start decreasing and will become zero in this region So the first order derivative based method will detect this maxima. Uh, similarly, if the pixel, if we reverse the pixel, uh, the, the, the pixel values, for example, let's assume that the green represents uh, the higher value and the blue represents the lower value, then the gradient uh, or, or, the, or the derivative will look something like this. Let's assume this is zero. So we will have zero over here, then the gradient will decrease and suddenly, and then and then over here it will attain its minimum and then it will start increasing and finally it will become zero. So the first order derivative based method will find this maxima or this minima to find the edges. Whereas the Laplacian or the second order derivative based method will detect the zero crossing of the second order derivative to find the midpoint of the edges or to uh, identify the edges in images. So if we compute the second derivative of this image, it will be something like this. We are just trying to draw it approximately, not exactly. So here we have gradient or the derivative attains its maximum. So here the derivative is zero and the second order derivative will also be zero. And then in this region, the derivative starts increasing. So we'll have a positive second order derivative. Then at some point, the rate of change of the, of, of, of the derivative will decrease and the second order derivative will decrease. And then finally at the point of maxima, the rate of change of derivative will be zero. So the second order derivative will be zero. And then the, uh, the derivative starts decreasing and that's why the second order derivative will become negative. 
so in this region we have negative and then finally in this region somewhere over here it will just become zero so the first order derivative based method uh, work on the principle of uh, detecting these maximas or these minimas whereas the second order derivative based methods work on the principle of detecting this zero crossing of the second order derivative and the second and and, and this zero crossing is a point where the second order derivative changes its sign for example it can go from positive to negative or it can go from negative to positive so usually the point of zero crossing provides the midpoint of an edge so we can just summarize everything as so the first order derivative based methods they identify the maxima or the minima to identify the edges in images in the first order derivatives or the gradients and typically we just uh, for example in the previous lecture we saw that we just compute the magnitude of the gradient which is always positive and that's why we just ignore the minima and we just like take the maxima into account and that's why we discussed that we we, we select all the pixels as candidate edge pixels if the magnitude of the gradient is above some user defined threshold and the second order derivative based method they identify the zero crossing of the laplacian or the or or, or, or the second order derivative and usually this zero crossing point the point of zero crossing provides the midpoint of an edge now as we saw in case of the first order derivative we cannot just directly apply the idea to the images because images are digital and uh, that's why we computed the digital approximation of the derivative so that we can apply them as filters in images similarly we will compute the digital approximation of the laplacian and uh, use it as a filter to compute the laplacian of images